Looking at this sequence of numbers, what do you notice? Take a minute to pause the video and try to find a pattern. If you couldn't figure it out, that's totally okay. We'll learn more about this through a fun art project. The things you'll need are colorful construction paper, a pencil, compass, ruler, scissors, glue, and a white piece of paper. But first, let's look at the Fibonacci sequence. Believe it or not, the sequence I showed you in the beginning has the same pattern as a Fibonacci sequence. The term is always the sum of the two before it. For example, 1 plus 1 is 2, and that's why 2 is the next term. 2 plus 3 is 5, so the next term is 5, and so on. Also, the first term in the Fibonacci sequence is always 0. Right now, I only have six terms of this never-ending sequence. Can you figure out the next three digits? Take a second to pause the video and then unpause to check your answer. If you add it correctly, this is what you should have gotten. Now, how does this idea relate to the art project? Well, every circle has a radius, aka half the diameter, aka half the length of the segment, drawn from one point on the circle to the point directly across from it. The radius is extremely important since it can tell us the area of a circle or the circumference. But for today's video, we'll just be using it to draw circles. For this art project, we're going to determine the radius of our circles using the Fibonacci sequence and others like it. You can use the Fibonacci sequence directly 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, and so on, or another one like it, such as 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2.5, and so on. I'm going to make my first circle's radius the length of 1, since that is the second term of the Fibonacci sequence. Remember, the first term is 0, but because it's 0, we cannot draw a circle for that. Remember, you can also use any other sequences that have the same pattern. Open up your compass to the desired length for your radius, which should be according to the sequence you chose, and use a ruler to make your measurement. Using your compass, draw a circle on your colored paper. Do the same thing for your next circle. And since the second term of the Fibonacci sequence is also 1, I'm going to draw another circle on my paper that has a radius of 1 inch. Repeat the same set of steps for each term of the Fibonacci sequence using the ruler and the compass to draw your circles. Eventually, you should have a bunch of colored paper with your circles drawn on them. And remember, each radius correlates to one term of the Fibonacci sequence. And if your circles are getting too big, you can either switch units, such as changing into centimeters, or you can do what I did and try out a different Fibonacci sequence. I'm going to repeat the same process by opening up my compass to the desired radius using the ruler, and then I'm going to draw my circle on my colored paper. And since the second term is also 0 0.5, I'm going to draw another circle with the same radius on my colored paper. And if you're struggling with the compass, that's totally okay. Now, just repeat the process for the other terms of the sequence. After we are done, you should have a bunch of colored paper with different sizes of circles. Isn't it cool how all of these circles were made from the Fibonacci sequence? Now all you have to do is cut them out. And voila! All your circles are now cut out and ready for the next step of the project. Now all you have to do is put them on your white piece of paper and arrange them how you like. There are so many possible arrangements you can do. You can overlap them, put them next to each other, or basically do whatever you want. Just have fun with it. And if you can't decide, 
You can do what I did and just experiment until you find the one that you like the best. This is the design I ended up choosing, but I felt like something was missing so I decided to add a small red circle into the yellow circle. And then, after you're done, all you have to do is glue them down. And now you're done with your art masterpiece. But the most important part is that your art came from a mathematical concept, the Fibonacci sequence. Remember, we use the Fibonacci sequence to determine the radius of our circles. And using the circles we created, we were able to arrange them in a way that would make them look beautiful. You can even do this project again with different sequences that have the same pattern as the Fibonacci sequence. Here are some examples. Let's go back to the first sequence I showed you. Now that you know the pattern, can you figure out the next three numbers? I bet you can. Well, did you get it right? You might still be thinking, why do we even need this sequence? Well, if you notice, dividing a term in the sequence by the one before gives you a number close to 1.618, something called the golden ratio in math. You can test this by dividing some of the terms such as 5 and 3, 8 and 5, and 13 and 8. Well, why is this ratio important? Well, simply put, this number can help you find and predict patterns in finance, nature, the solar system, and so much more. I hope you had fun learning about the Fibonacci sequence and doing this project with me. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye!